Hey, it's April 29, Wednesday, and we've just received Suburban 6-gallon water heater number three. The first one was damaged uh, somewhere along the line in, in shipping. The second one was a factory reject. The reset buttons were mal-located, uh, and uh, the rubber grommets were continually pressing those buttons, so that was messed up. So let's give this thing an open. I've learned now that uh, the side of the box with four staples is the side of the box that's got the uh, business end of the water heater. Hey, my little woman just showed up. Let's see how this one is. I'll show you where that defect was on this one. Hopefully this one's not defective as well. We're going to just pull out these staples. There we go. All right. Nope, I'm wrong. So I got to flip it over. Uh, so let's see what we got here. It looks like it's unharmed. Okay. It's, this is the bottom here. It's not bent. And this was the problem with the one I received, the second one, is those reset buttons were not in the center of the circle. For some reason, it was a design flaw. And this little button right here that you push to reset was off on the edge, right in the area of this thick area of this cover and the cover was keeping the buttons depressed. So these are right dead center and you're gonna be just perfectly fine. So I think three is a charm. We finally got one that's in good shape. Now the downside is I'm not gonna be installing this water heater for a long time, months maybe. And I'm not gonna know if it actually works I just needed to get this thing in hand so I have all the size uh, and dimensional stuff ex exactly known so I can build the area that it's going to go into the bus. So, yay, we got our water here finally. All right, so here's the cover I ordered. Uh, firstly, it comes with real corrugated cardboard box. That's stronger than uh, the uh, flush mount covers that I recently ordered and returned two of them already. The first one was damaged and the second one was a little bit damaged, but uh, the Amazon guys kind of ticked me off with their ordering system. So I just returned that cover and I found this one. And this is a mistake. This is a mistake on me, okay? I wanted to get the cover that has the separate flange that's not the flush mounted kind because I had a feeling that they were going to be a little bit more robust and I was right. The metal's thicker and stronger. Um, and I actually love this, except this is a cover designed for installing a suburban water heater that's replacing an Atwood. So it has this extra width to the, to the cover on both sides and these metal plates come with it to close the space. But here's what I'd like to show you. Okay, it comes with the three screws, which is cool, all right? Uh, this thing is stronger, thicker metal than the cover um, that's the flat flush mount type. So I'm gonna take this guy off of here. The paint is perfect. I mean, it's got a fingerprint on it here. But that's 
not in the paint. It's just a greasy fingerprint. Okay, there's not a thing wrong with this lid. It's good heavy, heavy gauge metal. I don't want to put it down on there. So let's start out talking about this. This flange um, goes down inside the heater. Okay, this is the top. That's the bottom. There's your drain plug on the Suburban. And uh, the flange has got a gasket around the perimeter, which I thought was gonna be hokey, but it's pretty good stuff. It's, it's thin, it's only like a 16th of an inch thin, thick, whatever, all right? But I, I'm not gonna be able to do this um, holding the phone with one hand, but uh, you kind of finagle this guy behind there. And it's this very snug fit around the whole perimeter uh, of the water heater. Maybe I can get it in here at one end. There it goes. All right. So it's in. All right. So it feeds in there quite nicely. I gotta say, because the, the, the leading edge of the water heater is flared out. So the gasket compresses right it's got it's got this rounded affair here and the corners are flared out so it, it slides right in there which is nice but my concern is this area is a wet area because it's on the outside of the, the vehicle and there's your drain port for your uh um anode electrode whatever it's called for um anti-corrosion, the cathodic cathode, I don't know what the heck to call that thing. But um, if you look, you see, I'm just pressing on this one finger. If, if things don't line up exactly well, right, you could have a water leak get between here and then drip out from behind this and inside your wall which is really, really bad, okay? So, I'm, so this whole area of the water heater is considered wet. It's, it's open to the elements. You know, the door's got the, uh, the screen on it and whatnot. So, um, watch what happens here when I press on this. See right there? This is not, with that seal in place, it's not something that I'm gonna rely on to be waterproof. If you have a water leak um, that gets past the seal, all right, it's gonna leak out from behind this and down the inside of your wall. So I am going to be permanently gluing this with Gorilla Construction adhesive most likely. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to be installing the water heater on its tray and then glue this piece in to the water heater upon installation. And I'll be using some butyl tape around the outside here so that it'll be removable. All right, so one last thing before I box this thing up again is here's the hinge, the lower hinge which I like very much how it's designed. It's designed to allow the lid to go fully open. And it simply just goes underneath the two screws that are at the bottom of a flange. Right there and right there. Very well engineered. I like it a lot. I certainly have no problem at all with any of the design and manufacturing of either of these parts, other than I ordered the wrong one. When I get the replacement for this, which should show up in a couple days, it's the normal width cover. I'll assess the quality of that and decide if I want to keep that one or keep this one. All right, so um, uh, there was a tiny little corner of the styrofoam broke off there, which was very meaningless, really. Um, 
it was only about maybe a quarter of an inch deep and two inches wide. I noticed it sitting on the floor, so either it got damaged when they boxed it or I damaged it. Um, but because I'm anal retentive, I went and got some Gorilla Construction adhesive, which is a fantastic product. And I put some of that in the hole, pressed the piece in there at my finger, and I took a piece of wax paper, just big enough to cover the area so I could peel that loose from the con Gorilla Construction adhesive on there. And I put this masking tape on there nice and tight, and then I could like smooth it out afterward without getting the stuff all over me. And uh, tomorrow I can peel that off and we'll take a look at it and uh, it should look absolutely perfect. All right, so here's the next day. Let me uh, peel this masking tape off here. Let's see how well my repair job has gone. There's the wax paper. Wax on, wax off. See the Gorilla Construction adhesive, and it's just perfectly smoothed out and matches the contours of what we were doing. Excellent.